I'm Sylvia. And I'm Al. It's time to hang out with us again while we enjoy life, love, and happiness. Our goal is to ignite that thing that says, relationships don't have to die just because they are old. arguing in front of you or fight? Never. Oh, I never, ever, ever. Well, for me, I witnessed my parents fighting, arguing. Actually, it wasn't a fight. What I should say is I did witness my mother um, being abused by my father uh, from when I was seven years old after my father married a second wife. So, when I was seven years old, that's when he married this woman and um, she stayed with us, so we had two wives uh, for some time before my mother left. And um, so I did witness my mother being physically, mentally, emotionally, financially abused. Well, the, the only time I ever noticed anything like really, it's nonsense really, but I think I was 18 or and we went abroad. We went, and um, my, my mum took her best friend when. So she got a room, to, a room with two beds in and she was sleeping with Gwen. And so I got two rooms and I was sleeping with my dad. And my dad was feeling a bit fruity one day and, and he was chasing after her. And, and Gwen was saying, yeah, I'll, I'll sleep in the other bed with Dad and it'd be all right. And so to shut him up, she cut, shut his fingers in the door. By accident? Yeah, my who's chasing her around. Yeah, because he was opening the door yeah, and she was closing yeah, it and then he had his fingers he was, caught. Because he was feeling a bit fruity. And I remember all night long he was moaning, oh, because you imagine they went yeah, black. That, like, that, oh, that's painful. Oh. So that's the only abuse I ever saw and it wasn't really abuse, it was oh, just was accidental that. fun. Right. Okay. So, what about in your neighbourhood growing up? Was it a safe neighbourhood? Oh yeah, I mean, as far as I can remember now, when we used to come home from school, when my mum was working. If my mum hadn't come home from work because she was working late, you just go, go go to the next house and the door would be open. And you go in there, if their kids weren't home, you go up to the next house and the front door was open. You didn't even so have to knock, you just walk in. So that's similar to the way I was raised in my neighbourhood, where I lived. You, did, you didn't even worry about anything. No. You could just go to your next door neighbour, whatever, and nobody cared, no, there was and no... That, it was like that, but as time went by and we didn't have so many relatives coming to the birthday to the christmas parties they'd have a christmas party down the road and you just and you can there, just go just and walk in yeah. and join in you have like drinks I say, and remember, that, yeah. remember i say to you kids from our way you know our mm. what you neighborhood it, neighborhood would come and watch tv yeah on, on the you know on, on the, the porch. porch yeah they would just come and they didn't even ask my mom would just open the cadet and they just let them yeah. watch so that's how safe it was um did you ever think that you would marry a black woman? I never, the thing is, I don't think about them things. I just, whoever you fall in love with, you fall in love with. I mean, I, it just never crossed my mind who I fall in love with. I just assume one day I'd get married. At 15, 16, did you ever think of or imagine? At 15, did you ever 16, your... 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, oh, always after all women, I don't care what nationality they were. I was just after women. For me, because of um, what was instilled in my brain about, you know, white people, that they were um, superior, uh, they are rich, uh, blah, 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 blah. I never thought that it would be possible. I mean, like, why would they want me? But, but when you were younger, if you couldn't walk down a first street, could a black person marry a white person? You know, did I ever, maybe that's what we should ask each other. Did you ever see interracial couples? I, I no, I didn't, no, because I, there was I no black either. people there. Yeah, I don't think And I there was did. no white people. But, but, but then again, down First Street, wasn't there white people, shop owners or not? Yeah, shop owners, yeah. There was shop owners. All, all the shops were owned by white people. Only black people we, we would see on First Street was the workers, mm. the tea boy, the See, but, you, tea boy. but you had an opportunity to meet white people. We never had any opportunity to meet black people, and uh, there was never okay, any. That's the difference. And, but having well, said that, there was never no scorn about marrying an Indian woman either, uh, because the Indians, when I was 
15, 16, I can't remember, the, when they all moved in, the Indians moved into Southall. There was no scorn. I mean, we used to go to Southall and play with kids, I think. I can't really remember now. Because mm-hmm. Southall was a little way away. It's not as if you could walk there. Right. You'd have to get a bus there. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so... Interesting. I don't think I really, I don't think I really had any t- in touch with them until I worked um, in, in a company called Crown Corp and Seal, and there was a lot of Indians no, there. Yeah, I'm talking about when we were younger. When we were younger, no, I don't, That's see, we, we never really met any, about. you know, I don't remember me. I do actually remember the buses, the um, West Indians, you know, West Indians, from, from, from um, Jamaica, Jamaica yeah. that, yeah, they used to run, they used to be, drive the buses so there was a song I've been a bus driver all my life can't get can't wait to get back to Kingston town mm. you know and all this sort of thing back to the palm trees because but we, we weren't taught racial things so we never we weren't taught part about um apartheid so we never thought we wouldn't think anything of it we just thought that's a working person okay. you never say oh look so, there's a black man there's a, you never say that because it wouldn't cross your mind not in the group of people I would with anyway at school and so even like when school, you see a black person like a driver you wouldn't comment on oh look at no, no. you it, wouldn't okay, I don't so remember saying anything about oh, that's good you were brought up just that they used good. to go ding ding fez please ding ding fez please <laughs> <laughs> probably we used to say that like oh exactly. ding ding you fez please of because of their accent yeah. but not who they were we just like Irish people you'd take the mick out of the way they talk and mm-hmm. But you, it, it wasn't because of their colour, it was their accent you might take, take the mick out of. Alright guys, we went through um, the way we were brought up. Very different, yeah. even though we've got a few similarities. I hope you enjoyed listening to our differences. Yeah. The way we were brought up. Until next time, we'll be back. Bye, we'll be back with another video and please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to our channel bye, bye.